Hi everyone and welcome to this video and if new welcome to my channel. I just turned 34 and it feels amazing and guys I got this great present from a sister for my birthday and it's Norina Anastasia Beverly Hills palette and I've been wanting this palette since I saw the first picture or teaser on the Instagram and uh, she said that she she's going to get this for me for my birthday and I was very very excited so today I am going to create a makeup look with this palette so if you want to see what I'm going to create then please keep on watching so I already planned my eyes with wet n wild photo focus I think yes photo focus primer and I did set it with Huda Beauty powder that's something that I've been doing lately and I like how it looks and how it keeps my eyeshadow on for the whole day. So today this is how this outside bo box looks like. It has some message from Norina, uh, thoughts about this palette and a picture of how it looks inside. Now I did open it yesterday and I did swatch two, three shades but I haven't applied it to my eyes. And this is, I love this texture. I know it's going to get dirty and it's going to look messy but I kind of like it. And I all, already have almost all of the Anastasia palettes, except the subculture one. I'm thinking about buying that one because I do like all of them. Prism palette is the one that I really, really like. I don't use it a lot on my, on the, in my videos, but I do like and enjoy using it. So Glam is also amazing. Model Renaissance is also great. But this palette is a dream come true. True. This is so go so gorgeous, so beautiful, I like it. And the mirror in here is nice, you also get a brush. So I'm just going to play. I don't know what I'm going to create. Um, I just want to go in with this palette and try to create something great. So I'm going to remove this sticker from this mirror. Ah, it's a nice mirror. So let's start, guys. I'm going to use a big fluffy brush. No, not that one. This one maybe. Or this one. No. A big fluffy brush and I'm going to go into this shade called Base. And I did set my... Oh, it's powdery. But I don't care. I have... I don't... I already set my eyeshadow primer, but... This looks almost like my skin. Nice. I don't mind eyeshadows being powdery at all. Uh, just the... I just want my eyeshadows to be to blend easy but Anastasia eyeshadows are known to be a little bit powdery so you can see this I don't mind so I'm going to go into mm, I really want to go in this shade love so I'm going to go in this shade I want to create something pinky purpley I don't know and then to apply this in my crease a little bit above. Mm. Oh, I like this shade. This palette is beautiful. I'm kind of thinking of uh, what they will release next. Mm, I hope a peachy palette. I really hope so. I think that would be great. So far, this first shade, Love, is blending beautifully and I really love it. Okay, then I'm going to go and take uh, this brush and I'm actually going to go into the darker shade here, Passion. And take this kind of brush, Opa 21, and place it right in my crease and try to fill it up a little bit. And that, this blends nice. So far these shades are blending nice and I really like how they look. Hmm. So what am I going to do next? Okay, I'm going to take a flat brush and go into Drama, this shade here, and I'm going to place it in the corners. I'm not going to bring it too much into on my crease, not crease but on the eyelid. This is a beautiful shade. I'm 
I'm going to clean the brush and then I think I'm going to into this celestial, celestial, I don't know how to pronounce, but this purple shade here and we're going to blend this together with this shade but also not going to go the whole way, I'm going to leave the middle clean. This is a beautiful shade, stunning. Then I'm going to clean the brush again. I'm actually going to go into Wild Child. This Wild Child, the pink shade. Oh, this is beautiful. Let me try to place it with the finger, oh yeah, more, more pigmentation with the finger. Actually, I think I'm going to use my finger and go back and blend the purple one together with the pink a little bit. and use the drama again that we had in the corners. I feel like I really blended away a little bit. Yes. What are we talking about? Look beautiful. I think I want to take the smaller brush and go with this uh, passion, the darkest shade matte here, and go back into the crease just to dock it up a little bit. Like that is going to complete the look. Yeah, it looks better. Then I'm going to take a fluffy blending brush and go back in the first shade log that we had in our crease and yeah, blend everything. That looks nice. So I'm going to finish my makeup look or put some makeup on my face and I'll be right back to finish the eye look. So let's continue. I'm going to take this uh, shade Soul and smudge it all over my under low la lower lash line. I think this will complete the look. And then I'm going to take a flat brush and go in with this passion, this shade passion very close to my lower lash line, but not the whole way. Just to connect everything. Go back with the same brush that we used for that blue and blend. I'll put some mascara, mascara and I'm done. So guys, this is the final look. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know every time I upload. I upload three videos a week, every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. And thank you so much for watching and I hope I see you in my next video. Bye!